Hey everybody, Scott Sprunter here, DocSports.com. It is Friday, April 19th, 2019. I've got a free pick. In fact, I've got two free picks uh, for Friday's card, one from baseball, one from the NBA in just a moment. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, real cool way to do so. You click on the link below the video, you get set up for a free $60 account. Use that on any of my daily packages. Again, a free $60 account, all you got to do to get started is click on the link below the video. Uh, yesterday's video we talked about we were going to start having our NFL run down all 32 teams, one team per day uh, since the schedules came out a couple of nights ago by the NFL and we go over the wins totals but uh, if you can't tell if I don't sound as bad as I feel uh, we've been a little under the weather on Thursday, Thursday night so I'm going to start this by Saturday or Sunday's uh, video and uh, just crazy. I mean, I go four years without even a freaking sneeze, basically, for the most part. Now, twice in the last eight weeks, uh, I've caught a cold. And uh, so we did a lot of sleeping on Thursday in between watching a little bit of the Knights and Sharks hockey game, watching some NBA and Major League Baseball. Uh, but anyway, we'll start that uh, later this weekend in a day or two uh, when we're feeling a little bit more up to uh, really going after it, each team and, and handicapping each team. Uh, because we want to get you that uh, the good information, obviously, each and every football team over the next 32 days. We'll start that this weekend after I get to feeling up to par again, a little under the weather. But we uh, did handicap the slate, and we are ready to go for Friday. We've got a five-unit baseball play over at DocSports.com on Friday morning. We've got a four-unit play in the NBA and another slap shot play in Friday's NHL, we like to go a perfect 3-0 on Friday. You know what we've done in the NBA, 69% run with their last 32 plays, up almost $4,000 for $100 per unit betters. 58 and 39 is the run in baseball. Uh, don't miss out again. And again, five-unit play in Friday's baseball. We had a, our first seven-unit of the entire baseball season a couple of days ago, cashed with the Rangers, big five-unit play going on Friday. And all the plays available Friday morning over at Doc Sports. Dot com. I want to give you two plays to kind of make up for not starting the NFL uh, rundown yet. And we are going to start in baseball and then go to the NBA. First up in baseball, we're looking at the battle between uh, the Houston Astros and the Texas Rangers. Verlander and Smiley uh, will be on the mound as your projected starters. And obviously, we're not going to sit here and say to go run out and bet a 210-215 favorite, which is what Houston is. But listen, if you're going to go against Smiley and you think you're going to have a winner, you might as well lay the runs line when you go against him because his teams have lost 20 of his last 33 starts. 16 of those 20 losses have been by more than one run. So again, if you project that Smiley is going to lose or his team is going to lose in his start, you might as well lay the runs line. And when you're talking about Berlander being on the mound of the way he's pitching, uh, not just this year, but obviously over the last several years, uh, I think you got a real good shot here for Houston to win the game by two runs or more. So uh, again, we are going against Smiley. We're back in Verlander. The Houston Astros on the runs line in that particular game lay the run and a half. And as far as the NBA, listen, we love taking these teams that are at home down 0-2 in their NBA playoff series. It was uh, a run of 60, 64 and 32 against the spread. 67% winners with a few pushes in there over the last decade plus. And then last year, the books cheated. Let's just call it like it is. We say they cheated because all of a sudden you see like what we have on Friday. Oklahoma City is a seven and a half point favorite. You got to lay six, six and a half in the first half. We're not going to do that. But there is one game on Friday uh, that we do like uh, the uh, team down 0-2 and back home, and that is the Indiana Pacers. The full game spread is so low that as much as they want to, and they are cheating a little bit, the books, uh, you've got a situation where you only have to lay two uh, to two and a half in that first half with the Pacers, and we think they'll get the job done. So, uh, again, that was just a, an incredible run for many, many years, and then the books decided, decided to give uh, these ridiculous numbers on these first half plays uh, relative to their full game spreads last year and the system or trend or whatever you want to call it went just 5-5 five and five or whatever it was, 50% against the spread last year. So, again, we're not going to lay 6, 6.5 in the first half with Oklahoma City when the full game line is 7, 7.5. Uh, but we do recommend to play on the Indiana Pacers laying 2, 2.5 with that first half line over the Boston Celtics. So there you go, a couple of free plays for Friday. Uh, in baseball, run line play on the Houston Astros, Verlander over Smiley. 
and in the NBA first half play on the Indiana Pacers minus the couple of points. All right, listen, we're going to go get healthy. We're going to get better. We're going to start diving into these NFL games. We'll have another free play for you on Saturday, and we hope to kick that video out Saturday morning, 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific. If you like these videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. And uh, hey, let's put Friday in the win column. I'm Scott Sprencer, DocSports.com.